Let's go, princess! Welcome once again to another edition of Wii Shorts here on Reckless Eating. I'm Matt Zion along with Natter, and today we're going to be taking a look at one of Jeff Boo's favorite drinks. I don't know why, whenever we're doing a main show, he will set this down on the table and be like, no man, I really love it. That's what he sounds like, that's Jeff Fu. Well, if Jeff Fu likes it, it's got to be weird. Yeah, this is basil seed drink. Now, uh, Lori also tried it, and she liked it too, so... Wow. It just doesn't, it doesn't look like something I would like. This reminds me of like, this is, looks bad. This is a warning sign to stay away, uh, like disease. It does look bad, especially when you have the word semen in the middle of the sentence. Yeah. <laughs> Almost semen. It's close. <laughs> semen C. So I've had this for a while. I think this actually came from Jeff Fu in one of the original packages before he moved here. Okay. Alright, well I'm not seeing any of the seeds, so that's a positive. There is a little crap floating around in it. Am I expected to chug this can? Well, it actually smells pretty good. Wow, it smells like uh, bubblegum, kind of. Yeah, I do smell that. Wow, that smells... Okay, well, uh, maybe this will be a positive experience. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh. You're all right about that bubblegum thing. Watery bubblegum. Yeah, for sure. It's not, like, super gross, but it's not great, either. Yeah. I think I'd rather have water. It's got honey in it. Man, I'm... Why the f*** do people like this? I really don't know. I'm in, I'm in confusion right now. Are you supposed to heat it up or something? It says hot on it. King Lucky Food. I don't feel lucky after drinking it. Oh god, it's like it's like bubblegum and melon. Yeah. It's it's basil and, fina and banana. There's a banana flavor there. Yeah, there. banana is in there too. It's... I mean, it's not terrible, but again, there's so many other things I'd rather be drinking than that. Yeah, I, I think I'd give it a 2 out of 5. Because uh, I could, could, but... I agree. 2 out of 5. We'll use it to survive the zombie apocalypse, but not much else. Yeah, no, it's it's like slightly above a zombie apocalypse. That's again, that's a drunk experience. But like, would, have any of you guys tried this? If you have, leave in the comments down below. Why do you like this? Like, what? Why are you sitting around? That's disgusting. Why are you sitting around on like a summer day and you're like, I could go for some basil seed drink. I'm going right now. The price is right because it's only like I think it's forty cents a can. Okay. So that's good, but. That just means that it's, uh, oh god, there's a bee trying to get in the... Get out of here, bee! I get it! If we want to go for a Simpsons joke, I'd rather drink crab juice. <laughs> Clock of us? A crab juice. <laughs> oh! I'll take a crab juice! <laughs> it was a Mountain Dew or, or a crab juice. Mountain Dew or crab juice. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Mountain Dew. Alright, thank you for joining us for this edition of We Shorts here on Reckless Eating. As always, we will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow.